There's one type of gaslighting that's worse than all the rest, and it's the gaslighting of a child. It's teaching a child that their experience of reality is not, in fact, their experience of reality. It's teaching them that their feelings, their interests, their wants, their pursuits, their understandings of life are not accurate. It's telling them that it should be something other than what they're experiencing. As a result, I have many clients over the last 30 years who have the entire childhoods wiped out, stolen from them, and they can't even remember them. Or they have huge chunks of their childhood they can't even remember. And of course they can't. Why? Because they were experiencing something, yet they were being told something else. And so the body goes into massive confusion for the people who like big words, cognitive dissonance, all sorts of things go on inside of them. And so they shut it down because it's too painful to figure out. But it was fundamentally the underlying message being conveyed to that child is that you can't trust your own voice. That who you really are doesn't matter. You need to shut that off because it's not real. And so many parents will do this. The child will fall down, scrape their knees and their elbows. They'll be bawling their eyes out and the parent will say, oh, it's okay, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt, stop crying. I'll give you something to cry about. Big boys don't cry, all those things. And that's just one experience. It's like me walking down the street with you know a friend and I step off the curb and I turn my ankle hard and it hurts like hell and I'm ah, yelling, I'm maybe even crying a bit because it hurts so badly. And the other person says, that doesn't hurt. I just turned my ankle last week. It didn't hurt, that doesn't hurt. It's like, really, buddy? I don't know what hurts my own body. No, this hurts. In other words, my experience is different from this person's experience and they're attempting to invalidate my experience. You do that with a child and it's so much more powerful because they don't have the power to fight back. They don't have the power to say, yes, this is my reality. Yes, this is how I feel. Yes, this is what I want, what I need. This is what I need to pursue for me. And it gets really insidious in those teen years when the child naturally in those ages wants to differentiate, wants to find their own voice. And that's a good thing to do so that they make their own mistakes and have their own successes based on their own gut. Otherwise, they're going to come to adulthood and they're going to be enfeebled. They're going to be fundamentally still infantilized. Why? Because they're not allowed to make their own decisions. They're not allowed to trust their own voice. So they're going to be forever reaching out for someone to tell them what to think, tell them what to do, what to want, what to go after in life, trying to get that approval by abdicating my life over to this person. So do you think you're setting your child up for strong relationships when they're older or weak relationships by controlling them, by always trying to influence their decision, by always trying to get them to do what you want to do? Do you think that's really smart? Because you're teaching them to distrust their own inner voice their own instincts, their own intuition. That's what gaslighting is. Don't listen to what's going on inside of you. Listen to what I'm telling you is going on inside of you. So the simple question is, who taught you to distrust your own voice? Who stole your childhood? Who stole your experience of reality? Who fundamentally stole your strength long-term by teaching you not to listen to your own feelings, your own wants, your own needs, your own pursuits, your own things that you wanted to experience in life. Who stole your life, stole your experience of reality, and fundamentally taught you to distrust your own voice? But worst of all, whose childhood are you stealing? What child are you telling how to experience reality? What child are you still controlling or attempting to influence or causing them to doubt themselves? What child are you gaslighting now and has it occurred to you that's a really freaking bad idea? Have a kick-ass day.